this demonstration we examine the relationship between the pressure of a gas and the volume that it occupies. Uh, students may already be familiar with Boyle's Law or this may be their introduction to it. The apparatus that we are using is a piece of glass tubing and there's nothing in it other than just air and we have a rubber dowel, a wooden dowel with a rubber bung uh, on it, a potato which is raw and which we're going to cut and by cutting the potato in the fashion I'm showing you and by using some protective cloth at the end of the glass tube I'm going to take a piece of potato into the glass and you will see that the rubber uh, that the uh, wooden dowel will not quite reach the uh, potato wedge at the moment because of this. But if I turn the thing around this way and persuade the potato into the middle, then I can make room for a second piece of potato to come inside the glass tube. So to do this, I again use some protection for my hand. And now you will observe that there are two wedges of potato separated by air inside the glass tube. Now the question arises, if the rubber bung is impeding the motion of the wooden dowel, then uh, the tip won't be able to dislodge the upper wedge of potato, but will be long enough to reach the middle one. So then if we give a little push to the middle one, thereby reducing the space that the air is allowed to occupy, then the pressure in this region builds up and there are consequences for that. So if we observe closely, we see that the upper wedge is dislodged with an impressive pop, not unlike a champagne cork being popped. So there is indeed a relationship between the pressure of a gas and the volume that it occupies.